Good afternoon, everyone. Father Demetrius Kazakis from St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church, West Babylon, New York. Um, want to take the opportunity to read this uh, very special gospel. It happens to be my favorite gospel, but uh, to not be uh, biased. It's a very important gospel of uh, repentance, of humility, um, forgiveness, love, Honesty, there's so many lessons that we can find within this gospel, which is the Sunday of the prodigal son, which will be uh, this Sunday, just a few uh, weeks before the beginning of Lent. So I wanted to read this gospel and encourage everyone to read this gospel to understand the deep lessons that are found within it. It's too complicated to go into some of the um, more deep lessons that are found in the messages that Christ uh, tells to his disciples and to his followers, but beautiful lesson of the prodigal son, which is the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 15, verse 11 to 32. Then he said, Jesus said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me, his inheritance. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the young son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted all his possessions with prodigal living. When he had spent all, there arose a great famine in that land, and he began to be in need and in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one still gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. When he, when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet. And bring the fatted calf and kill it. And let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to make merry. Now the older brother was in the field. And he came and drew near to the house, and he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked, these, asked them what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore, therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Behold, these years... I have been serving you. I never transgressed your commandment at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I may make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours comes, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you kill for him the fatted calf. And the father said to the son, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So at the conclusion of this gospel, within this crucial parable, we ask ourselves, truly, what character within this parable are we? Are we the younger son who takes advantage of everything that we possess and we don't realize what we truly have and we don't realize the blessings and then do we come to ourselves 
Do we prepare for confession? This is what the younger son did. He came to himself. He had the realization. He prepared what he was going to say. He went to his father and he said, Father, I have sinned before heaven and before you. So we see humility, repentance, a changing of our ways, a changing of our mindset, an understanding of what we have done in the, in the person of the younger son. The older brother is jealous. He seeks gratification, perhaps. He's jealous of the other blessings that his younger brother has had. Are we like that character? Are we like the father? Do we show compassion? Do we show mercy? Do we show understanding? Do we seek those things? This is a, a very difficult message that we have to see within ourselves. But it is very important before Lent. It is very important that we remember these lessons throughout the year. To constantly remember how God has blessed us. That no matter what we do, God allows us to return to His grace and to return to His mercy. This is what we remember. This is what we pray for. And this is what we keep in our minds and within our hearts and souls as we prepare ourselves for great Lent. I wish you a blessed weekend and a blessed Sunday of the prodigal son. May the lessons always be with us. God bless you.